Hi YouTube, Ivan Shaw here. Um, I'm going to show you how to wire up a standard gas automotive pack with a diesel crankshaft sensor. So what we have here is we have a 12 valve Cummins crankshaft sensor. I have a fabricated 12 valve crank pulley. I have a power neutral or I mean ground so it's ground my pink wire now I take my ground and I put it into the black I just use wires that I had laying out uh, then the black goes into the ground onto the switch and then it also goes to the ground on the gauge and that's pretty much going to be the ground wire now for the power wire we're going to go to the power to this to the sensor and then off the off that we're also going to tee off and we're going to go to the power to another splice which is going to be right here I what I have because this is the easiest way I've came up with doing this is a 1k ohm resistor right there so that acts as the pull up for when you uh, when the signal sees a disrupt it doesn't go to zero it sees a, it pulls it up to 12 volts and that allows us to actually work with this uh, gas unit and right here is the signal wire for the tack splices with that 1k and then goes directly into the sensor so I have a better uh, drawled up diagram just explaining it right here this has settings on the back of the tachometer. So with the setting that it's on right now, I'll show you it running real quick. Just on my drill. And then I'll change the setting and show you it on the other setting. Okay, so there's that one. Now change the setting on the back. It's got a setting right here. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but we'll see what happens. And if you're noticing that it's actually moving quite a bit, that's because that's it reads the disrupt and I'm trying to do do it hold the camera I'm moving this unit up and down like that so that's kind of why it's jumping but if I can watch this it'll stay pretty steady the whole time that's with me watching the drill more than the gauge I'm hoping I'm getting the gauge in here but So, made that, milled it in there, got just a half inch bolt, pilot hole right there, that for adjustment. Um, hope this helps anybody. This is a really good video, well, semi good I want to say, video of how I got this uh, diesel tack working, or not diesel, uh, gasoline aftermarket tack working for a diesel uh, crankshaft sensor. Uh, hope this helps. If you guys got any questions, uh, ask me. I'm going to be posting a video of just showing the wiring diagram. So I'll call this video one of one and I'll call the other one video two of two. Um, but hope this helps. If you guys got any comments, questions, uh, reply, ask. Alright, thanks for watching.